For my next sewing project, I wanna make a pencil skirt, and my plan is to use this denim fabric that I purchased from Joann Fabrics. I made this skirt before. What I really like about this pattern is that you have the option of putting the vent in the back, you can put the vent in the front, or you can put the vent in the back and the front. And I made this before in a corduroy fabric and I actually put the vent in the back and the front. This time around, I actually want to shorten the skirt. I wanna bring it up just a little bit and I only want to put the vent in the front. So this is how the vent looks. This is the extension for the vent. Well, since I don't want the vent in the back, I am going to fold this extra piece of the extension in. So I'll just take this and fold it in like this. And then go all the way down, of course, and then I'll just cut around that. And that way I won't have the extension in the back. Now I am shortening it by four and a half inches. So I measured four and a half inches up from this lengthen and shorten line. And then I am going to fold the pattern and fold it up to that line like I did here and then just tape it down. By me folding up the pattern, there is a little overage here on the side and I will just trim this off or I can fold it in so that I won't have to worry about that when I'm cutting everything out. I think this is a vintage pattern. This is Quick Sew 1053. I've had this pattern for a while but I couldn't find what year it came out but I believe it's vintage. I have most of the pieces laid out and I only purchased a yard of fabric. There is quite a bit of top stitching that the pattern calls for, so I will be using this brown thread for that. I am not going to put the carriers on. As far as the pocket in the back, I just wanna put one pocket on the back of the skirt. The first step in this pattern is creating the change pocket. And this is the little pocket that you see right here on the front of the skirt. Now I am working on the actual pockets that go on the front of the skirt. I am working on the zipper now. So what I did was I basted it from here down. There's a dot here at the end. And then I took the zipper and I placed this right side of the zipper along this basted seam and I pinned it. And then I stitched from the top of the zipper down here. And then now what I'm going to do is take the zipper and gently pull it over to the right side and I am going to pin it down to this front fly extension and then I'm going to sew on the right side of the zipper all the way down just through the zipper fly and the actual zipper. So I used some chalk and I drew a line one inch away from this center front seam and then I curved it at the bottom and now what I'm going to do is go ahead and top stitch along this line and I will make two lines of top stitching. So I'll do one line and then I'll move over a little bit and make the next line. Okay, so these are the two lines of top stitching and then whenever I take these basting stitches out that will open up the fly. This is the back pocket sewn on and I've decided that I want to add rivets. So I want to put one rivet on each corner and I'm going to use this tool to help me put the rivets on. Yeah. 
So this was my first time adding rivets to anything and I really like this tool. It was easy to use and I will link the video that I used to walk me through each step. For the back of the skirt, I decided to do a flat filled seam. I finally took the basting stitches out of the zipper and this is how the zipper came out. So I'm pretty happy with that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the waistband. The waistband is attached. I just need to do some top stitching all around it. And then there will be a buttonhole put here. The front vent is pinned together. So I will be working on this also. And this will also have some top stitching done here. The skirt is all hemmed and all finished and I ended up using a jean button to close it off at the top. Oh,